Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about desulfonation. So uh, I'm showing you here the, the reaction for electrophilic aromatic substitution sulfonation. So it's conversion of benzene to benzene sulfonic acid. Uh, but unlike all the other aer electrophilic aromatic substitutions, well, let me back up. Most electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions are difficult to reverse, but this reaction can be reversed and it's reversed in, in interestingly similar conditions using dilute sulfuric acid. So uh, the reaction, the forward reaction or the sulfonation reaction occurs in the most concentrated uh, sulfuric acid that you can get, uh, sometimes sulfuric acid that is saturated with sulfur trioxide. Uh, and then the reverse reaction which regenerates benzene happens in dilute sulfuric acid. Uh, so in this case, the active electrophile is uh, a proton, uh, since we're in dilute aqueous sulfuric acid, from the hydronium anion. And the mechanism here really looks a lot like just walking this thing through in reverse. Generate this intermediate here. And then instead of water deprotonating here to reform the carbon carbon double bond, some of which certainly happens. Uh, I'm drawing out the sulfonyl group, so, so have some patience. Okay. Some of which certainly happens. Water could deprotonate the sulfonic acid, which would lead to a different kind of elimination happening here. and lead to the loss of sulfur trioxide, uh, which is actually going to... Uh, sulfur trioxide and, and water are actually going to react to form sulfuric acid. Uh, so this reaction is going to get more acidic uh, as, the react as, as it proceeds, but as long as there's uh, more water around, it's going to continue to do this, and you're going to end up with uh, benzene instead of uh, benzene sulfonic acid. Okay. In the next video, I'm going to continue on discussing the other types of electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. And then when we get to the applications to synthesis, we'll learn how this particular reaction is occasionally used to block a more re reactive position so that we can control where uh, an electrophilic aromatic substitution will occur on a benzene ring with other substituents. Thank you for watching.